I'm going to read a small portion of something from the Mohawk Nation news. It's called, um, White Man with the Black Face. Promises, promise, promises. We indigenous know about getting bad medicine from those who speak with forked tongue. On October 2nd, the Department of Health and Human Services told Congress that anyone lawfully present inside the USA would qualify for Obamacare even if they are not citizens. That includes students, travelers, registered immigrants, and most illegal aliens or non-citizens. The online application for Obamacare directs these applicants to register to vote. A lot of abuses can occur. Millions of the millions of secret outsiders can vote in the US elections. None are legal citizens of the Great Turtle Island. They are illegal honey boo boos who came from all over the world to squat and plunder. Those these thieves are now telling everybody who is or isn't legal. It's a manipulation to steal more resources from us to create a dictatorship. Now, you may not like the Mohawk's perspective, but actually it is true. And if you live in America, you also know that right now your own homes are being, I mean, you don't know if the bank's going to come take it or what. Most people are living week to week and month to month like I am and everybody else is. We're barely making ends meet. Um, and you realize that not one treaty has been ratified or fulfilled by the United States government. So, I, let me, I'm trying to put this in a good light. These people, <laughs> not in a good light, let's just tell the truth. Um, since they have breached all, all the trust, and they've even breached your trust because they psyoped you, but I'm indigenous, so they've never ratified, I mean, no treaties are good. They've never fulfilled any treaty agreement. So in that concept, that means that we still own the land. We don't mind having people here. You know, people who can follow the rules of the, uh, let's say, the great law of peace. I mean, from the Turtle Island, that's actually where the Constitution came from. But they just left out the greatest parts, which would make us not a dictatorship like we are now. And that's exactly what we are. So I'm going to leave this link below so you can read the rest. And and some of you may say it's it's bashing other people's, but it's really not. And did you realize that people who are in the United States now, illegal or just non-citizens, can register to vote through the Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act? Did you have any idea about that? Well, I didn't. And uh, that kind of makes me mad, even though I don't vote because I believe the system is rigged. Um... But anyway, I'm going to leave that link below. Also, I wanted to tell you, remember the truckers will be in D.C. tomorrow. So try to stay home if you can, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And on the 13th, the veterans are going to march. Yay, I'm glad about that, too. Um, so D.C. should be very busy. And I'm going to leave those two links below also. I hope everybody sits at home. And I surely hope somebody who lives near that beltway will please live stream some of the events that are going on in D.C. for us here on the West Coast and the rest of the United States that can't see this and maybe all over the world. I mean, we could stand up for once because if the whole world is watching, and I'm not talking about mainstream media, be the journalist that we need. Um, if you could show us, we can we can share it. If you could put the remix button, we could share anything you live stream. And we can make this go viral worldwide and show that we are not a weak, subservient peoples that we are standing. We are not complacent. We will stand. We have had enough. We have been sanctioned by our government. We don't like our government. It is corrupt at all facets. We don't really even have anything but emergency managements over each state at this point. Um, and they answer to the bankers. And the bankers, of course, probably answer to somebody that we'll never know who it is. So I think, you know, we should back the truckers and the veterans. But we need, and no war, not in my name. Let's keep these things alive. Let the powers that be know that we're not going to stop. That this is a world evolution. The Canadians have joined in. We are waking up. And we're not going to put up with the empires. Nope, not. We're not going to do it. So I hope they get this message 
Because if they don't, we'll just have to do something else. Peace, love, truth, and I love you all.